A great way to jazz up your worksheet is to add some fancy text using the Word Art Gallery. On the Ribbons Insert tab, click Word Art in the text group. In the Word Art drop-down gallery, click the A thumbnail in the Word Art style you want to use. Excel inserts a selected text box with the words Your Text Here, formatted in the style you chose, in the center of the worksheet. Type the text you want to display in the worksheet in the Your Text Here text box. As soon as you start typing, Excel replaces your text here with the characters you enter. Make any final adjustments to the size, shape, or orientation of the word art text using the selection and rotation handles, and then click a cell somewhere outside the text. Excel deselects the graphic, and the Drawing Tools Contextual tab disappears from the ribbon. If you ever want this tab to reappear, all you have to do is click somewhere on the word art text to select the graphic. Excel 2013 Smart Art is another special type of graphic object that enables you to construct fancy graphical lists and diagrams in your worksheet. To insert a Smart Art list or diagram into the worksheet, go to the Ribbons Insert tab. In the Illustrations group, click Smart Art. The Choose a Smart Art Graphic dialog box appears. Click a category in the navigation pane on the left. Next, click one of the category's thumbnails in the center section. Check the preview on the right to be sure you know what you're getting before you click OK. Excel then inserts the basic structure of the list or diagram into your worksheet. You'll see text in the shapes in the diagram. That's where you enter text for the various parts of the list or diagram. At the same time, notice that the ribbon changes to show Smart Art Tools with a Design tab and a Format tab. You can capture screenshot graphics of open windows and other on-screen objects and then automatically insert those graphics into your worksheet. To take a picture of a window open on the desktop or any other object on it, go to the Ribbons Insert tab. In the Illustrations group, click Screenshot. You see a drop-down menu that displays a thumbnail of available screenshots, as well as the Screen Clipping tool. To take a picture of any portion of your Windows desktop, click Screen Clipping. Excel automatically minimizes the Excel program window and then brightens the screen and changes the mouse pointer or touch pointer to a thick black cross. Use this pointer to drag an outline around the objects on the Windows desktop you want to include in the screenshot graphic. The moment you release the mouse, Excel reopens the program window to its previous size and displays the selected graphic containing the Windows screenshot. You can resize, move, and adjust this screenshot graphic. Through the use of its themes, Excel 2013 offers you a way to uniformly format all the text and graphics you add to a worksheet. To access themes, go to the ribbon's Page Layout tab. In the Themes group, Click Themes. In the Themes gallery that appears, click the thumbnail of the new theme you want to use. If you hover the mouse pointer over a theme's thumbnail, Live Preview lets you see how the text and graphics will appear in the new theme before you click it. Excel themes combine three default elements, color scheme, fonts, and graphic effects. If you prefer, you can change any or all of these elements in the worksheet using the options in the Themes group on the Page Layout tab.